Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the Secretary General and Prime Minister will say a few words and then take some questions. Prime Minister uh, Soran Saev, uh, welcome to uh, the NATO headquarters. It's a great honor and great pleasure to have you here. And uh, we have just finished uh, a, good, uh, a good meeting where we have addressed uh, uh, our partnership and how we uh, work uh, to, uh, uh, together. We spoke just after uh, you took uh, office, and I want to also today use this opportunity to congratulate you again on your appointment as uh, Prime, uh, Minister. Prime Minister. NATO welcomes the formation of a new government following uh, uh, months of political crisis in your country. NATO and the rest of the international community were shocked by the violence at the parliament in Skopje in April. Real progress has been uh, made since then. Uh, I continue to encourage all parties to put their divisions aside, to engage uh, constructively in the political process, and to work in the interest of all people in your country. So, Prime Minister, you and I have uh, just uh, uh, discussed uh, the importance of reforms. Good governance, the rule of law, uh, strengthening the multi-ethnic society, and good neighborly relations are all essential. Further progress in these areas will benefit uh, all your citizens. It will also advance your country's Euro-Atlantic aspirations. NATO and the European Union speak with one voice uh, on these issues. NATO has invested uh, in the security and the stability of the Western Balkans for more than two decades. And the region has made significant progress since the 1990s. We want to see your country as part of a stable, democratic and prosperous region. Last week, Montenegro became the 29th uh, member of the Alliance. This shows that NATO's door remains open. We continue to support your nation on the path towards eventual membership of the Alliance. As with all aspirant countries, it is important to remain focused uh, on the reform agenda and to ensure political stability. There may be hurdles uh, to overcome, but it can be done over time. So, Prime Minister, uh, your country is already an important partner. For years, your troops have served in Afghanistan. NATO valued its continued uh, contribution to our research support mission. It is a clear sign of your country's commitment to international security. So, Prime Minister Saev, uh, thank you once again. I look forward to working with you. And once again, welcome to the NATO headquarters. The floor is yours. Please. Dear representatives of the international community, allow me to present my pleasure for the acceptance in the NATO headquarters from the General Secretary of the NATO. I would like to say for the support from NATO, even, even the NATO National Office of Skopje, the close cooperation, and I also give an invitation to the General Secretary of the NATO. We congratulate the membership of Montenegro. This is a great experience for us. We hope to show that we'll be the next good news from NATO. Coming from NATO. It's also important for the Western Balkans to be secure and stable. Good relationships with the neighbors are exceptionally important. We're dedicated to improve our cooperation with our neighbors and to ensure closer international cooperation. We are a good NATO partner. We participated in all the missions of NATO. We have been the fourth country per capita with our country per capita with our contribution in the future. We are on a mutual side with NATO. Violent extremism and radicalism are mutual challenges. We have taken every measure 
Би можеле да дадеме уште поголема подршка ако сме членки на НАТО. Во Република Македонија постои силна политичка подршка од сите партии и етнички групи, како и силна подршка од јавноста за членството во НАТО. Во едно, ние сме посветени на заеднување на воените и безбедностите капацитети за да ги постигнеме стандардите на НАТО. Но се што сме направиле не е доволно за полноправно членство. Сочени сме со дополнителна и посебна пречка. Иако тоа не е фер, ние сме посветени на подобрување на односите со соседите, заекнување на диалогот и на мерките за градење на диалог. Постуваме членството во НАТО да биде и за нас реалност во догледно време. Посветени сме и на домашните реформи, кои се согласени со Европската унија. Посветени сме да ја подобриме демократијата и да ја заякнеме социјалната кохезија меѓу сите граѓани. Отворени сме за соработка за сите кои сакаат да придонесат на нашата заедничка едина, а тоа е Република Македонија, како демократска држава да биде дел од Евроатланското семиста. For the European and the NATO alliance and yes, family, please, international please, family. Uh, Secretary General, a question for you. You mentioned that Macedonia has quite a bit of reforms to deliver. So my question is, uh, uh, if Macedonia delivers these reforms, as you said, NATO speaks in one voice. Will it speak in one voice if Macedonia does its deal and if it breaks down all the reforms needed? And if there is some kind of relaxation in the good neighborly relations between Macedonia and Greece especially, is there a possibility for some, from somehow modification of the communique from, from Bucharest? I was uh, present uh, at the summit in Bucharest back in 2008, uh, where we made a decision that we are uh, committed to the accession uh, of uh, the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia to the alliance. But we also stated clearly that what we need to uh, be able to uh, follow up and to uh, extend an invitation uh, is that uh, there is a solution to the uh, name issue, uh, uh, a mutually uh, acceptable uh, solution to uh, the name issue uh, has to be reached within a UN framework. And that is still the position of the Alliance. We have reiterated uh, that position. Uh, at our summits uh, following the Bucharest uh, summit in 20, uh, uh, 2008 and we did so also at the summit in Warsaw in 2016 uh, uh, last year. So that's still the NATO uh, position. Uh, at the same time I'd also like to underline uh, that we welcome uh, the very clear message from the new government that they will now intensify uh, uh, the dialogue with uh, Greece uh, to try to find a mutually acceptable solution within the uh, uh, UN framework. And also the very clear and strong message from the new government on uh, reforms, on the importance of uh, the rule of law, of uh, multi-ethnic society, of good uh, neighborly uh, relationships, and, uh, and, uh, and also uh, uh, the, the very strong political uh, uh, support uh, uh, to a stronger partnership with NATO. What we have seen is that uh, NATO's uh, door is open. Uh, a few days ago, we uh, welcomed Montenegro as the 29th uh, member of the uh, alliance. Uh, and I think that it's hard to find any stronger proof of the fact that our door is open uh, to countries uh, that meet uh, the NATO standards, which implement reform. And uh, in this case also, where we have to see a uh, uh, a mutually uh, acceptable uh, solution to the name issue uh, within the NATO framework. Uh, Hi, thank you to both of you. Um, Mr. Prime Minister, there's been some confusion about the chronology of your plan to start, uh, to start mem uh, your membership negotiations here at NATO. Will you try to enter under another name? I mean, are you planning to use Upper Macedonia, FIROM? Can you start talks this way, and then will you put it to a referendum with your people? So could you just kind of lay out for us clearly um, the tick-tock of how you plan to go forward? And Mr. Secretary General, we, we have tended to believe that the name crisis was, was the only obstacle in, in recent years, but you've, you've mentioned reforms. What are the other barriers that could um, prevent Macedonia from joining quickly, and how big a factor is Russian meddling in this? Thank you. 
Благодарам на на прашањето. Благодарам. Thank you for your question. Сега овие години на блокиран процес во интеграцијата на Република Македонија во НАТО. Научи сите испрати порака се надеам до целиот регион дека меѓу другото стоење во место предизвикува и криза во Република Македонија. Како што реков, ќе се обидеме на сите можни начини да приближиме Македонија кон нејзиното полноправно членство во НАТО. Јас очекувам подршка од граѓаните на Грција преку власта и преку опозицијата во поглед на решавање на овој проблем. Постојат овде алтернативи, ние се надеваме дека и со привремената референција можеме да станеме членка на НАТО, а при тоа продолжуват разговорите на Република Македонија со Грција за нашиот интегративен процес во Европска Дина. Или како што покажа до сега, и искуството од Црна Горе, барем со привремената референција, да добиеме покар на НАТО, со согласност со договорите со Грција, а додека тече ратификацијата во сите 29 дебити на НАТО, секако добиеме некои две години да дополнително изнајдеме Сите можни алтернативи за нас се на разполагање, секако зависи тоа многу од нашиот южен сосед. Но не е ке биде само прична повеќе, за да се изнедат позитивни решенија за стабилност на регионот, а секако тоа е невозможно, ако меѓу другото и Македонија стане полноправна членка на НАТО Алијанса. A mutually acceptable uh, solution to the name issue is explicitly mentioned uh, in the communique uh, from the Warsaw uh, summit. Uh, but we also uh, uh, underline uh, the importance of uh, reform, and that's exactly why I welcome the very strong commitment uh, of uh, uh, the new government to reform, rule of law, uh, fighting corruption, uh, uh, strong democratic uh, institutions. Um, uh, when it comes to uh, foreign uh, meddling or interference in uh, the uh, political processes, I will say that any uh, outside interference in domestic uh, political processes uh, uh, is unacceptable. And the best response and the best way to strengthen the resilience against uh, foreign interference or foreign meddling in political processes is to build strong democratic institutions, is to modernize uh, your uh, government, your, your uh, political institutions, and to implement reforms. So again, reform uh, is the best way uh, to move towards uh, Euro-Atlantic uh, integration, and reform is also the best way uh, to uh, strengthen resilience against uh, uh, interference from uh, outside. Боби Христов Телма Телевизија, прашање до генералниот секретар, би ве вратил на еве процедурите. Говоревте за значењето на Западниот Балкан за стабилността, приемот на Македонија го ставиме во тој контекст и во сите нови геополитички притежувања на во регионот, особено со влијанијата и обидите за поголемо влијање на Русија во регионот. Прашањето би било дали се пак надворот тие процедури, а имајте ги предвид сите процедури и за които го покажа, постои врата за прием на Македонија од привремената референца. Well, what we have stated clearly uh, at every summit since 2008 is that we need a mutually acceptable uh, solution uh, within the NATO framework. Uh, so we are not, ex we are not explicit uh, on what kind of solution. The important thing is that it has to be mutually acceptable. Uh, and as long as it's something which is accepted uh, by uh, Greece and, uh, and uh, of course, by the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia, then uh, we can uh, start to move, uh, but it's not for me to dictate or to specify exactly what kind of solution, as long as it is a mutually acceptable solution within a, a UN uh, uh, framework. Let me add that NATO really understands the importance of this region of the uh, Western uh, Balkans. Uh, NATO has uh, helped end two ethnic wars in the Western Balkans. We have a long history in the Western Balkans. We have worked closely with Skopje uh, in addressing the instability in the region. We have a liaison office uh, uh, in Skopje. Uh, we are 
uh, very grateful for uh, the uh, contributions uh, to our missions and operations, uh, not least to uh, our presence in Afghanistan. And uh, we are uh, proving, uh, or we proved just some few days ago, that NATO store is open for countries uh, in the Western Balkans by inviting uh, uh, or by accepting uh, Montenegro as our 29th uh, member. Okay, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.